the Bulldogs. Uh, was last year a hangover, or is that what we're going to come to expect? Because they were, they got thumped. 82 points. I mean, they'll be applying the if did if nobody saw it, did it really happen? At Canberra, this kind <laughs> yeah. of hidden a little bit, but still an 82 point thumping. And I mean, they kick 51 points for an entire game. There's something wrong with that club. Yeah, and. At- I see it as they've got a they've made a hybrid team where players can play in any position and it's not working. Yeah. Eastern Wood playing in the forward line. They've got Tom Whoa, Boyd and Josh Shackey. In the VFL. In yeah. Tory Dixon in the, in the VFL. VFL. Mitch, Mitch Wallace, Wallace in the VFL. VFL. I just don't understand what they're Caleb trying to Daniel. do. Yeah. It's a hybrid team. Beveridge is work. trying to be like too cute. He's trying to outdo himself. It just doesn't yeah. make any sense what he's doing. I mean, as you said, Eastern Wood, he had seven touches. He looks completely lost of all his confidence. And then you've got even Johannesson wasn't playing his traditional role off halfback. Bontempelli only had 18 touches. He spent more time forward. Tim English could yep. be a really good player, he but he's bit. really raw. Oh, yeah. And and Beveridge played him along with Roughhead and Trengove. And you don't give Boyd or Shaq a shot. I thought Trengove was going to be a defender. Yeah, I mean, Trengove only had four handballs for the entire game. Didn't even touch it in the first half. If you go, if you have a look at their starting lineup and their defence... It's all these unknown players. I've yeah. never heard of them before. You'd think Trengo would go back down back. Especially Eastern with the Wood, Marcus Adams Eastern injury. Wood's leadership would be good down back. Yeah. I it's, don't know. It's the robbing Peter to pay Paul. Like, yeah, you your forward line's struggling, but putting Eastern Wood there then creates a massive hole in your your defense. And I mean, on top of that, Tom Liberatore will miss the rest of the season with another ACL injury, which is just tragic for him yeah. and for the Bulldogs. He looked like, obviously, 2016, his 2017 wasn't up to his 2016 standards, but his JLT form looked like he was getting yeah. back into it. Yeah. So that's a huge loss. And it was his other knee too. Yeah, exactly. I think it's as well for it's them, their ball use, that last kick inside 50, much like Collingwood, they just they are getting the inside 50s, but they're just not getting reward for them because they just butcher that kick so many times. Yeah, it's, it's such an important part of the game. And like, even when you've got, you haven't got a key forward to really kick the ball to like yeah. just get the ball inside 50 and get it, get it to a target. Yeah. It just, it just makes so much difference. The amount of times they went inside 50 and yeah. just pinpointed out a GWS player was alarming. And it, it, like you don't want to blame the forwards, but it also does come down to anyone who is playing up forward, who's going up Pressure. for a mark, bring the ball yeah. to ground. Like even that's what, that's what we plays. saw how Richmond won a premiership. It's like yeah. they go to rewalt and if he doesn't take a mark, the ball goes down to ground. They've got five guys at his yep. ankles, ready to pick up the ball and snap a goal. Like, yep. it's it's such an important part of like the the winning formula. Yep. It looks like that we're going to see in the in the coming years that um, if you can't do it, you're going to struggle. I mean, the thing is, what Richmond did, which I don't know how many other teams can do, their small players can take overhead marks and yeah. they can also bring the ball to the gr- to ground to ground. They yeah, play tall. I don't know guys. how many other teams have smalls that can actually play tall. No. And then on top of that, they lost the tackle count despite the Giants having 90 more possessions. So that hunger that they showed in 2016 just wasn't there. And all credit to GWS. They looked phenomenal. Oh, now, yeah. how much of it was their opposition is up for interpretation. But just some of the changes they made. So they had Cameron Green and Patton up forward who kicked 12 goals between them. But then they had Zach Langdon, Daniel Lloyd, Matt DeBoer around them as well who were those pressure forwards. Langdon had six tackles, Daniel Lloyd seven, and then obviously Himmelberg was in there as well. Even Whitfield, he played that yeah. Williams-Wilson role, and he had 34 touches at 85% efficiency. Finlayson as well played the similar role, 20 touches at 95% efficiency. One of the things that's interesting about GWS now is that we spoke, like, I don't know how much you guys spoke about it previously, but they've kind of always been, had that, uh, mentality of we're going to win. Yeah, because they're just this elite win. talent. But now that's... you're seeing players in that squad that are like, I don't know if I'm going to have a spot next week, so yeah. I need to need to perform. Need, need to put him 110 yeah. percent and need to get the best performance out there, so I'm going to get picked. Yeah. And because like Daniel Lloyd and Matt DeBoer are not in their best 22 not skill level wise, but they're in there because that's players. what they need. We mentioned that yeah. a couple of weeks ago, and that's they what you need, need some, some role, role players. players. Uh, they were brilliant. I mean, it was clinical. 
they get the win. We need to see more of it. But the early signs from the Giants, I mean, that's why I picked them to win the flag because yeah. I just think that if they figure it out and they work out that they actually have to work to win, it's not just yeah. going to happen. They're going to be scary good. Even yeah. Taranto over 30 touches, Cornelio over 30, Kelly 29, Shield 28. They've got so much talent. It's and, just no, yeah. ridiculous. They've got a soft schedule coming up from rounds one to six. They only play Sydney. It's the only top eight side they play. Yeah. So, so they'll be looking for a the top eight side from last year? Yeah. 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 